Hey folks, Mike Murtis, Gamer Logic here, and this is the state of my Gamer Logic Patreon page address. And this video will be exclusive to my Patreon viewers for a couple of hours because really this announcement is going to affect them the most. But I want the public to see this as well because they need to know what's going on in case they suddenly decide to support a page that isn't going to be around much longer. And there you go, I've already kind of given a hint to what the announcement and what the status of the Patreon page will be. But let's roll back a little bit, right? Uh, so six months ago, I decided to give Patreon a try at the suggestion of several friends as well as followers that said, if you make exclusive Gamer Logic content, we'll come, we'll pay for it, and uh, maybe you can build a big, bigger following, and hey, uh, who knows where it can go. And I kind of had several reservations about Patreon because, you know, I've heard some really bad horror stories from content creators. And anytime you go to your viewership and say, hey, I'm doing a Patreon, or hey, I'm doing a Kickstarter, or hey, give me your money because whatever, um, it's not usually met with a pretty positive reaction, right? So that's kind of a risk you decide to take if you're going to do something like that. And I decided, what the hell, I'll give it a try. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, we pull the plug on it, okay? And uh, honestly, uh, the biggest negative reaction I got from announcing my Patreon page was a couple thumbs downs on the video, the announcement video. That was it, no negative comments, not anything. And I think that's mostly because it was pretty transparent as to what the money was going to. It was going to the domain name, the web server, all that stuff. Not to go buy more games or whatever else, because that's really what I don't think Patreon should be for, right? But that's my opinion. So I decided to do it. And when I do something like this, it's a major commitment because the bottom line is you're taking your hard earned money and you're supporting my projects, my content. So I laid out about 12 months worth of content, exclusive shows, some stuff I changed here and there. But I decided that six months into this, if it's not really going where I want it to go, if people aren't enjoying it, then uh, I'm gonna pull the plug on the thing. And here we are, we are at our six months and ultimately my decision is to pull the plug on the GamerLogic Patreon page. And there's a couple reasons, but the biggest reason by far is hit and runners. And if you're not familiar with what a hit or, run, hit or runner is on a Patreon page, well, it's a person who basically signs up for your Patreon page. They get all that exclusive content and then they cancel their pledge to that Patreon page and they don't get charged for it. I had about 50 uh, patrons on my Patreon page all together in the last six months. And I think out of those 50, uh, maybe 10 of them didn't hit and run, which is really unfortunate. Um, so to me, it, uh, it's a hit personally because you know that stuff's exclusive. I took the extra time to write that content. And it's also a hit to the people who did take the time and legitimately paid for that content. Um, I don't think that's fair to people. And it, it started as something small with the hit and runs and then it was like a continuous thing. And I hate to say it, but uh, if you don't have loyal followers or uh, people that uh, just want to get your stuff and go, the the state of Patreon uh, for the future probably isn't too good. And again, I, I just don't want to feel like uh, the people who are paying their hard earned money to get this content are getting ripped off because people are just subscribing and leaving. And I don't think that's right. And I've looked into um, alternative means of delivering that content to Patreon so that doesn't happen, but it'd be way more work for the user than it needs to be. And I don't think, again, that's fair to the user. Um, so bottom line is I, I just can't continue doing that. And, uh, I'm not sad that I decided to do the Patreon page, to be absolutely honest with you. It was a neat experiment, and uh, bottom line is it didn't pan out. So that's kind of that. So after July 2nd, there will be no more Gamer Logic Patreon page. And to my current Patreon subscribers, here's how things are going to work. Now you're in the month of June. You haven't paid for the month of June yet. So all that content that is normally promised for you for the month of June, it's going to happen. You're going to get it. July 2nd, you'll be charged for that content, and then after that, you won't get charged for any Gamer Logic content on the Patreon page because those tiers, those rewards will cease to 
exist. So the last charge for the GamerLogic Patreon, again, will be July 2nd. Um, if, if for any reason you don't want to stick around, you can cancel. It's not going to break my heart. Um, I completely understand. Um, also, if you want to watch said content and you don't feel like you got your money's worth from kind of supporting Gamer Logic on the Patreon page, feel free to get your content and cancel because uh, <laughs> over 40 other people did it, unfortunately. So uh, that's just kind of the case with that. So yeah, um, I really don't know what else to say other than thank you to the number of you that again took your hard-earned money and decided to support gamer logic and all my projects uh, there are three people who signed up with the patreon page six months ago and are still active patreon subscribers on my page and i want to take this moment to personally thank them and that is marcus scott and the other person, I believe, I always have a hard time pronouncing his name. So it's G Sotelo, I believe, is the right way to pronounce his name. And if I butchered your name, I'm really sorry, but I didn't want to really butcher your first name. So G Sotelo, Scott, Marcus, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, taking your hard-earned money and supporting the Gamer Logic stuff. Uh, that means a ton. And for you other folks that uh, stayed on for a bit, you left, I understand, but again, thank you for uh, supporting Gamer Logic. And to those hit and runners, uh, man, way to way to ruin a good thing. I mean, not just for me personally, this really doesn't affect my bottom line, but uh, for those folks who depend on that money, uh, that they they've made this their career. Um, you're really screwing with their livelihood, and and that's not cool. Uh, some people thankfully are smart enough to have a backup plan with that stuff but some people they cashed it all in and they're really using that patreon money or they're really using that youtube money to uh kind of lead a career and you know they're they're living on the edge because all of it could just disappear like that and those hit and runners are really really not helping to keep them on the road they're really just taking that wheel and whoosh, right off the cliff so so not cool hit and runners not cool so i'm gonna leave it at that um again i am not broken up by the fact that we're gonna stop doing the patreon page um, i knew from the beginning that it was going to be an experiment i knew that there were risks involved um, but the bottom line is it was worth doing it was worth checking out it's just not for us and don't worry about gamer logic disappearing i'm not pulling the plug on the gamer logic project or anything like that um, thankfully for the six months we met our goal to support next year's fees for the domain name for the web hosting and a couple other expenses and uh, we will continue and thankfully when one door closes a couple open up and in my case that is definitely the case uh, so be on the lookout for some other opportunities for gamer logic to expand in a number of different ways so again Thank you to my Patreons, to my Patreons, is not the Patreons. Thank you to my patrons for supporting my Patreon page and to my regular viewers. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. It means the world to me. That's why I do this stuff. Thanks again. Peace.